One of the advancements we've made in the DVX-20 is by placing the fuel tank and the battery compartment below the floor. This allows for a lower center of gravity and also gives the boat an amazing ride. I've been on Lake Michigan and several other lakes across the country, and the ride of this boat truly amazes me. In addition to the DVX-20 hull, we've also added airwave pedestals to this boat on the, both the driver and passenger seats. This allows for more comfortable ride in rough water and it gives you even more peace of mind. We've been talking about all the space in this boat. Well, the cockpit in the DVX series is extremely roomy. The airwave pedestal and seat is on a slide, so it allows for you lots and lots of extra leg room. The depth finders in this boat, you can put two 12 inch units in the dash on this boat, which allow a great heads up display for you to run possibly a sonar and your mapping on there. So you always have everything you need right at your eye level. Tilt steering is standard on this boat. It also has a keyless touch pad, which includes this key fob that comes with the boat. You can start and stop your engine with this, trim your engine up and down, run your aerator system, your pumps, or even your lights with this key fob. It also acts as a safety stop switch. We have anti-vandal switches on the cockpit area as well, which includes also a USB port and a 12 volt plug. Passenger console is extra roomy as well. Has also the airwave pedestal on the passenger seat, which is also on a slide, allowing for more room for your passengers. The glove box in the passenger console is oversized. It has a shelf built into it, so you can put your keys, your wallet, your sunglasses, suntan lotions, anything you wanna put in there and stay safe and dry, you can use the glove box for. On the other side of the console, it has a USB port that we all use nowadays to charge our phones or our iPods or anything we, we want to keep charged while we're in the boat, and then also a little storage compartment there as well. Next to the console is a rod rack system that I think is absolutely one of the greatest features on this boat. You're able to run rods in handle first, or for your longer rods, up to even nine foot long, you can run the tips in and run them clear down into the boat so you can now use those nine foot rods that so many musky guys and walleye guys are using now and have a nice safe and secure place to put them in. We've incorporated a step into the Vexus DVX series which allows you to step from the cockpit area up onto the front deck a lot easier. On top of the step is an EVA flooring material. I fish barefoot a lot so I really enjoy this material as it's softer, it dries faster, it's skid resistant, it's easier to clean, and it just makes for a nicer fishing surface on our boats. Thank you for joining me here in the Vexus plant. We're on the uh, finish assembly line where this DVX model has just been joined to the Vexus trailer that we built down another line simultaneous to building the hull itself. It's a perfect place to show you the hull design and some of the features that we incorporated into its manufacture and design. One of the things you'll see is the fork design. In adding this bit of real estate, we were able to flare the hull more. That flare just helps ensure that the hull is as dry as possible. Also, as a part of that, we've built in a reverse chine. The chine is where the hull and the side meet, and that's reversed down so that it'll throw the water down into the lake. Another important portion of that is the hull design itself, which is a deep V going forward. We've made it in a convex manner, again, to soften the ride get the water back down into the lake. As we go back, you'll see an extreme flare on the side of the hull. That gives us a lot of deck space inside the boat where you're fishing from, but it also flares it out and again, helps to dry up the boat. As we move aft on the boat, we can see that we've incorporated a knuckle or another spray deflection just below the rub rail so that as water tracks up the side, it is thrown back and down as well. 
this overall deep V design that we can see here from the shine all the way up to the top of the gunnel, it gives us added depth inside. So below the cockpit floor, we're able to get more fuel, larger fuel tanks on the center line. Those are running longitudinally. They're baffled so that it can minimize the slosh that's in the tank from fore and aft and from side to side, which gives you more control, keeping the center of gravity uh, more stable. Also inside the boat, we have battery storage under the cockpit sole. We can put up to five batteries or the standard configuration is four batteries and a battery charger for all those batteries. That gives us that extra room inside the boat to do all of the things that are necessary. These are really highly specialized fishing machines and every ounce of space, every inch of real estate has a purpose. And we think we have used that to the maximum inside this rig. Another strong consideration on this type boat is to be sure that we have maximized the space in the back because we can have a kicker, either port or starboard. We can have shallow water anchors, port or starboard, in some cases both. So a lot of uh, equipment needs to be installed here in, uh, in various configurations. So we wanted to make sure that the point of ingress is as high as we could get it back here. And so you'll notice that this is one level plane all the way across. Keeping this area as high as possible obviously will minimize the opportunity for water to ingress or come inside the cockpit of the boat. And that's why that's so important. The splash well, you'll notice also, uh, it doesn't have a basin. In other words, it doesn't hold water here. It sheds off immediately. So that'll be a real quick draining process when you do get some water over the back. And because this is higher, then it won't go on inside the boat. As part of this design, we were able to incorporate a ladder into the transom. This ladder can be deployed easily from inside or outside the boat. It's in a stainless steel container, so it's waterproof as far as uh, water getting into inside the boat. It also has another safety feature that when this is deployed, there'll be a light come on on the dash telling the operator that this ladder is deployed for safety reasons. I want to thank you for joining me today as we've walked through some of the basic design principles and attributes of this new DVX fiberglass product. We're very proud of it. I hope that shows through. We'd love to talk to you more about it. If you would like to contact us, Facebook, the website, call us. We love to talk about it. This is what we do. We're passionate about it. And uh, there's nothing we enjoy more than just visiting with you and getting you up to speed on why we think that the DVX is a very awesome product and certainly the best of class on the water today. So until then, stay in touch. We'd love to visit with you about our product and thanks for joining us. We spoke earlier about how we have moved our battery compartment to the floor area of our cockpit. One thing many of today's anglers are doing is they're running bigger electronics and our, these new engines are requiring more power to be used. Our battery box will hold up to five batteries, which is a huge advantage. Balancing both sides of our cockpit are two large storage boxes. They are gel coated, have a compression latch, a striker plate, and a gas shock. And then the bottom of these compartments are also lined with our EVA flooring material. Here's something handy that we've put in the back of the cockpit area. We have tackle storage on either side of the rear deck. You can put Plano 3700 boxes or any, any equipment or tackle that you're gonna wanna use for, for that specific day. It keeps it nice and accessible for you to use. Your measuring board can easily be placed right here, stays up out of the way, and slides right down into place. You can put it either direction on each side of the cockpit. Another thing I like about the DVX-20 
is this rear casting deck. There's plenty of room back here to work fish on both sides of the boat. Plus, it's also allowed us to add more storage to the back of the boat. We have a large storage box here. It's very versatile. You can use it for planer boards, anchors, ropes, anything that you're gonna need back here, maybe trolling or fishing, you can just put it right down here in this box. On the port side of our boat is our cooler. We've put it in an area that's gonna be easy accessible so you can grab your drinks, sandwiches, food from wherever you are in the cockpit. Innovation is key to us at Vexus Boats. And while every fishing boat has a live well, no one has a live well like this. This is our intensive care live well system. Our intensive care live well system has two levels, normal and full. Normal is what most of us are used to in our live well system. Our full system brings water clear up to the bottom of this acrylic lid and virtually eliminates every bit of slosh in this live well, helping to take better care of your fish. As a matter of fact, I was up on Lake Michigan a couple weeks ago fishing and my daughter Lainey caught the very first fish out of this Vexus boat. We put it in the intensive care live well system where she got to watch it all day. We released it later that day knowing that someday she may be able to come back up there and catch that very same fish. Something else we've done on our DVX series is we put in a full transom across the stern. This virtually eliminates any backwash onto your rear deck. It also allows for us to put your kicker engine on either the port or the starboard side. Conveniently, we put a panel on the stern of the boat, which you can access from either outside the boat or inside the boat to turn your power on, charge your batteries, put your plug in or out, or check your battery status on our Dual Pro charging gauge. Thanks for spending time with us today learning about the Vexus DVX20. For more information, visit our Facebook page, vexusboats.com, give us a call, or visit your local dealer.